Hi everyone, my name is Petra and I'm a pet business brand photography specialist and today I will be showing you how to take pictures of dog collars and leads. I have this beautiful set here for uh, Possum Moments. Thank you so much for supplying this and I will show you a few quick tips how to brighten up your boring uh, white background and other sort of uh, product images. So let's get started. So I am facing the window with my white background here, okay? So I'm doing this on the floor today and if you don't have a table or don't know ideas like how you can do it, basically I have a big window here and I just lay this um, white wallpaper down on the floor, okay? And um, I am going to use this wood slice um, to brighten it up a little bit, I have to lower this a little bit more. Okay, so make sure there's like a nice curve into this white background, and you can just place your color down with your logo facing front, I mean, front towards the light. Okay, you can attach the lead onto it and then you can have the whole thing in it or just part of it, which is totally up to you, obviously. So just arrange it nicely, okay? And you can just turn on your camera on your phone and then take the picture from the side. As I said, not the whole, um, uh, lead needs to be in it. People do get the point without it. So you can just do it a little bit from up above or uh, all the way from down. The wood slice obviously doesn't need to be in it either because that's not the point of the picture. You can pull it all the way to the front too. Yeah. Just make sure you're not covering your product uh, or well the light because uh, it's gonna give you a shadow and then basically that's it that's just one simple option for you to have a different image rather than just a white plain background now if you do not want to use anything like this you can use um, flowers if you just Roll your lead up yeah, that's again just one option here for you. Just to arrange it nicely. You can put some flowers in it, live or fake ones. Yeah, don't necessarily have to be again part of your um, photo, just uh, use it as a prop. Yeah. And then again, you can just take it from this way, this angle. As I said, the, the flower do not have to be the whole thing in it. Um, that's just an option, but if you actually have a nice pattern um, that you can find a prop for, like, um, I don't know, if your pattern has flowers, obviously you use flowers. If you, your pattern has like little stars, you can use little stars as a prop. So you can go similar um, props that is on your product, okay? If you do want to have something um, different and you don't want to do this setup, then I'll show you a different way to do product photos for colors and leads. Now the other option, um, again, if you just have a nice surface, um, then you can just lay them flat. I already um, made them flat in a nice arrangement and then uh, literally you just have to take the picture from up above, make sure you're not in it. Don't worry if you see other bits around because you can edit these out afterwards. You can just tap on your product if you think it's too dark just adjust the light this way 
yeah if you think that this is still too boring then you can use um any other props i'm using greenery again for this one because i think the ivy leaves would go nicely with this one so you can just lay these down nicely Yeah. And then again, you just take the picture from up above. Yeah, tap on it to brighten it up. And again, that's just an option. Yeah, very simple. And I'm going to have an extra bonus option for you. So stay with me. Follow you. So the third option for you is if you really, really, really don't want to mess around with anything like this and you just want to put your product down and then be done with it, then um, you can choose a nice surface. I'm using this, um, whatever you call this, cushion, whatever, and I'm going to place my product down here and let's see how can I arrange this. One second. I can just literally have the product like this and then make sure that the the background is tidy uh, to some point um you can just switch to basically the to the portrait mode uh on your phone or uh, um live mode live 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 focus on android that's it i found the word <laughs> So you can just switch to portrait mode or live focus um, on your phone and then literally just take the picture as it is. Um, if the phone cooperates well with this pattern, it doesn't really want to cooperate. Maybe, yeah. So you can just um, take the picture this way keep telling me to move further away but uh, don't worry because then you can edit it out afterwards whatever it's not necessarily have to be there so I'll show you how it looks like afterwards anyway because um, you can adjust how blurry do you want the background um, and then it's still gonna look nice okay so these were my very quick tips on how to take pictures of dog collars and leads. Obviously, this is good for any um, collars and leads, cats or ferrets, anything like that. Uh, I hope you liked it um, and watch my other videos too. Um, you might be able to get some few ideas from those ones as well. Thank you so much for pausing moments for this beautiful collar and lead. And thanks for watching.